Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading. This is for uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we will go in that order. First, we'll get what your focus um, will be for the day. So Spirit Angels, what do our Earth signs need to focus? Thank you. To the sea. Whoa. We also have Happy Happy. And Flexible. Okay, so. Okay, so. Uh, with your Oracle cards being flexible, it's all about, um, you know, in your relationships, there's times where you have to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Compromise to uh, go with the flow, which brings us right into the next card. Um, you have to decide whether or not this is worth um, bucking, whether this um, is either choose to dictate or you choose to go with the flow and then let the relationship uh, steer the ship. And now is a time for that to happen. And it will bring you that happiness, being truly happy with um, the person that you are with. All right, let's get our Taurus energy for the day. What is Taurus dealing with? The lovers. Oops. I don't need that yet. That did want to come out, but it didn't all the way. So um, there could be a choice in love that you're going to need to make. All right, just a couple more shuffles. I don't hardly ever use these cards, so they're very slick. They keep sliding all over the place. Okay, Taurus men, you have the tower. Taurus females, you have the two of wands. Your situation today is the four of cups. Um, the challenge to this four of cups is the three of cups. In your recent past, you have the king of wands. In your near future, you have the four of wands. Um, the the uh, foundation of the connection is the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, um, or you're trying to get out of a toxic cycle that has not um, been in, that has not been good to you. Uh, Taurus men, you're not seeing the, or you're now seeing the consequence of not knowing what you had until it was gone. There could have been, at one point in time, a lot of love and joy and, and happiness shared between this connection. But it's just like now you're bored. Now the routine has gotten, you know, to be too much. You're just wanting more. You're you're desiring to break free. And uh, an ending is coming in for you with that uh, tower. Why is the tower here for Taurus men? Yeah, with the lovers. So this is the ending of a relationship. Um, there could have been some uh issues in the past about feeling like you were taken for granted feeling like well they wouldn't miss me if i was gone anyways because this person is just kind of like the bummer summer uh energy there is an emotional shakeup when it comes to making a choice in love in the past you were very um you know very sure of your choices very passionate about what you were doing um but as of lately you're starting to almost backpedal um, worrying that maybe you didn't make the right choice. But in the near future, you are finding stability. So you could be moving to a new home, uh, moving out of an old place. Yeah, making the decision to be happy, making the decision to find stability, uh, making the choice in love is going to bring you to a new uh, place. You're allowing your true heart's desire to finally lead you. Even though you know that it's going to cause an emotional shakeup between you and somebody else, you feel like you can't sit here and let the world pass you by anymore. You have to do what's going to make you happy. And that, unfortunately, means leaving behind somebody and moving towards a more stable you, building a foundation that you can grow on, that you can find new love in. Um, and ultimately, the tower is here to clear out uh, what 
is no, no longer needed in your life to make your prayers answered. Um, be cautious. This could be a little bit of an overindulgence um, of some sort. All right. Taurus females, you are making plans for the future. Could be with a, a fire sign male, but it does not have to be. You're tired of not getting the attention that you deserve, that you want, out of somebody that um, that you have had. This is somebody that you had a lot of passion for, a lot of love for, but they're just not showing you the attention. They're not showing you what or giving you what you need in the relationship. Um, and you are also um, making moves uh, and plans for the future. Yeah, you're about to make a big change in your life. Getting out of this place of being stuck, this delay. Um, no longer having to defend your worth is what I'm hearing. So somebody could be taking you for granted. Somebody could be taking advantage of your love, you feel. Um, this could be a Sagittarius. Um, doesn't have to be. But big changes are coming. You're no longer waiting for this person to give you the love and attention you need. You're moving forward and finding stability within uh, your four walls as well. Um, this is also going to be somewhere where you can grow and expand personally. You are moving forward um, single by yourself, focusing on you, what you need, um, so you can eventually have that, uh, that relationship with Somebody who deserves you. Somebody who appreciates the way that you love and nurture the connection, um, Taurus. So that is coming in, or that is happening all today for you guys. All right. Whoops. Who we got next? Virgos. What can Virgo expect in love today? We got the Three of Swords and the Queen of Wands that just wanted to pop out. That... Go. One more shuffle. There we go. Whoops. That was ugly. One more. Okay. All right. Virgo men. What do we got? The king of wands could be dealing with a Taurus female. Or a Taurus, I mean. I swear I shuffled these. No, I must not have shuffled them good enough. Sorry, Virgos. I got to shuffle again. That was too many cards in a row that were the same. All right. They're probably good and shuffled now. Oh, my goodness. I can't keep a hold of my cards. Okay, I think we're good now. I think they're good and shook up. Okay, Virgo men. The Six of Cups could be dealing with, I don't remember what air sign got that. Virgo women. Your guys' uh, situation of the day is the High Priestess. Clarified and challenged by the uh, Wheel of Fortune. In the recent past, you had the Fool in the near future. You have the Two of uh, Pentacles rounding out your cards and the foundation being the Hierophant. Once again, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a relationship, a marriage, a long-term commitment, um, something of that nature. Uh, Virgo, man, you're really in your head today about reliving memories about the chances you did not take. You're, I'm feeling a lot of regret about not speaking up about your feelings. Uh, and now things are changing in a way that you're not wanting. Um, you're wishing you would have took a leap of faith with somebody. Uh, because now you could be trying to enter their life and they have somebody else as well. Um, but I don't know when that fell out. So I'm going to put it back. I was in my zone. Why is the Six of Cups here for Virgo? You're being very secretive about your feelings um, towards a 
a person of your past that you feel was a past life soulmate of yours. You're now ready to take action, Virgo. Um, and you're going to come forward speaking the truth, hoping that it gets you out of this mental prison. Uh, for some of you, you could be going to jail. Why do I keep seeing that lately? That's weird. Um, I feel like you're locked down and you're thinking a lot about the memories of the past. You wish you would have changed your decision. You wish you never would have met somebody. You wish you never, you know, there's like a, a wish of, I wish I could go back and change things. Because now things are coming out. Truth is being exposed. Um, and now you're just really thinking about missed opportunities. The King of Swords is also a lawyer. Um, so you could honestly be in court um, for something. You could also be in court with somebody that you used to be married to. Or, you know, big changes are here. And there are there's things that are not being spoken that need to be spoken. Um, for this to move forward, why is the two of pentacles here? The four of wands, your stability is up in the air. You're feeling like, um, you're worried what to do, where to go, where am I going to go now? There could have been, there could have been somebody in your past that you kept a secret and now you're wishing you would have took that chance with them because now with the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, and that lawyer at the bottom of the deck, you could be now, uh, your partner could ask for a separation. And now you just feel unstable all the way around. Things are changing in a major way. And um, things that were kept, tried to kept, keep a secret will come out. Judgment is here as well. I'm telling you, there's some Virgo that's going to jail. The judgment is here answering for things that you've done in the past. You're, there's just a feeling as I wish I could go back and change my decisions. All right, Virgo females, you're dealing with somebody who is very hot and cold in your life, in and out, very inconsistent energy. They could have, um, you could have slept with this person and then now they're gone, poof, not talking to you, not speaking to you. Um, you thought this was a new beginning. You thought you were on the road to a, a great relationship and now you're, so confused like what the hell is going on um you are taking a step back uh and dealing with the sadness that this person has brought for not coming forward and speaking um you also have a feeling here of regret wishing that it would have worked out with this fire sign yeah but but you are with the two of pentacles you're deciding whether or not to stay here and wait for them to come back or to move on, to move forward, to heal. Um, it breaks your heart to have to move forward, um, but you know things are changing for you. You know good things are going to come in, um, and you, I feel, are going to break this cycle of that um, wishy-washy energy, not sure what to do, where to go. Um, there could be a lot of conflict between, like inner conflict within yourself as well. All right, Capricorns. Capricorns. Okay, thank you. All right, Cappy. Men, you have the Knight of Swords. Capricorn females, you have the Lovers. That card's been making an appearance a lot today. Your guys' uh, situation of the day is the Ten of Pentacles. It is challenged by the Temperance card. In your recent past, you have the Emperor. Wow. In the near future, you have the Empress. Bottom of the deck and foundation is the Eight of Wands. Holy crap. For this group of you Capricorn females, this most definitely is a twin soulmate connection. Your situation, getting everything you want, getting everything you have desired, the the home, the family, the wealth, um, your challenge is to remain balanced. Don't get up in your head. Don't um, take this for granted. Thankfulness and gratitude go a long way to the universe. This is also being patient in this coming together. Be patient in this forming because the angels are working on your behalf 
to bring in the Emperor and Empress. Uh, Gemini, or er, Capricorn females, for sure. I mean, the lovers, the temperance, and the Emperor and Empress, most definitely this is a divine connection. The choice is being made for you, Capricorn females. Sorry, Capricorn men, I'm, I'm excited to do this one. All right, why is the lovers here for Capricorn females? Yeah, your prayers have been heard. An offer is coming in. You just have to be patient. This can't happen overnight, but the promise of this, the prayers being answered, is that you are going to achieve this greatness, this happy home, this happy family that you desire. Continue to heal, continue to have that patience, and know the angels have heard your prayers and they are being answered. An offer is coming in. Um, in your outcome, you have the Empress creating a new um, beginning with somebody that's going to bring you a lot of success moving forward. All right. You're also getting a lot of recognition for a business you just started, Capricorn females. All right, Capricorn men, you're coming in with the truth. Coming in hot, coming in fast. Why is the Knight of Swords here? You are also trying to build something stable, something grounded, uh, with somebody, a fire sign more than likely, um, you're moving towards the person that you are find so desirable, so beautiful, so amazing. They're confident, they're warm, they're loving, they're caring. They're also your perfect vibrational match. Um, I do feel too, for you Capricorn men, this most definitely is a twin flame or soulmate connection. If you're Capricorn dealing with Capricorn, hello, this is amazing. The two of you coming together, um, Right underneath the bottom of your deck is the Ace of Wands. Capricorn men, that's absolutely amazing. Um, you are moving towards... You could have been the one that has been uh, needing to come forward and offer this to your person. You've been taking your time, but they have been very patient, waiting because they knew that this would balance out and be fair. You are picking the person that you want to create a new life with. You feel that soulmate connection. This is intense. This is amazing for both of you Capricorns. Best reading by far I have done in I don't even know how long. This is a reunion. And you're going to be so happy, happy. Make sure you are flexible. You go with the flow and know that things will change. Um, but they're going to change for the better. You have a reunion here for you Capricorns. All right, Earth Signs, thanks for joining me on my channel. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you for coming. I'll see you next time. God bless.